Okay, this is a quick, and I mean really quick, tutorial on Apophysis here, because a lot of people in the previous tutorial were saying, how do I save my image now that I have my flame created? And that's because when you go to File, Save Parameters, you're actually saving the flame data, not the actual image. So, if you want to save your image, you just do Export Flame, pick your dimensions, and be sure you pick PNG, because if you pick JPEG, it's going to have artifacts, and all this time that you spent rendering these things, you don't want to have artifacts in it because then it's essentially a waste of time. So I'm going to save this <coughs> as a PNG and this is just a random one. Pick a size, um, quality, that applies more to JPEG, leave it at 100. Buffer depth, higher buffer usually is better, hit OK. <coughs> the little window will open here and tell you how long it's got to go. This one has 14 seconds, so we'll just let it crank away. Actually, I'll go to where it's saving. So if you, you can see in the place where it's saving, it's got a batch file for its render. Once it's done, there you go, shows up as a PNG, and there's my file. It looks all weird in the Windows Previewer here, that's because this is transparent. Um, if you were to open this in Photoshop, the transparency would be just like the checkerboard you normally see in Photoshop. That way you can have your flame renders uh, have alpha channels. That's one of the benefits of PNG, other than the fact that it's not lossy, it's lossless. So if I was to bring this render into Photoshop, you can see that that area there is transparent. So if I wanted to make multiple flames and overlay them on each other, you can see that the alpha channel stays intact. So there you go. That's how you save your flames.